In today's video, I'm going to show you how to bring in chat messages into OBS if you live streaming on YouTube and of course be able to highlight your messages or your audience's questions or comments just like this. We're going to be using a plugin called Social Stream Ninja, which is going to be 100% free. It's going to be super, super easy to set up. So let's not take much time. Let's get right into it. What's going on, guys? My name is Sam. watching live production tips and tools helping you master live streaming. So one of the best ways to keep your audience engaged and actually show them that you are there is to be able to get their questions or their comments answered and highlighted on the screen live. It builds really a strong connection. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. If you're using OBS tool, I'm going to show you we're going to be using a plugin. Now, this is not something that's built into OBS. That's why it used to be super complex to do this but now it's actually super simple we're gonna be using a chrome extension called social stream ninja to do that so what i need you to do i need you to go to your browser and type in social stream that ninja i'm gonna leave a link down below so you guys can just click to the link and it's gonna take you to the page so once you click on that link you're gonna have a you're gonna land to a page that looks like this okay so now we're looking for the chrome extension as you can see, they're working on Windows. It's still in beta as well, Mac OS. But for now, we actually using the Chrome extension uh, plugin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click Chrome extension. And as soon as you click to it, it's going to actually download the file and it's gonna be saved in your downloads folder. So what you need to do is you're gonna go to your downloads folder. And as you can see, I actually downloaded it twice, but it's gonna be this one that says social stream main okay it's gonna be a zip folder so what you need to do you need to actually go ahead and right click to it and extract all and hit extract so basically it's just to unzip the folder so once it's done the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and open obs so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys how to install it actually so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and actually open your google chrome browser again and what we need to do is you're going to go here in the corner where it says extension. OK, so usually all your extension will be here. OK, but for us, we're going to go ahead and actually go down here where it says manage extension. And as you can see, it's going to show you all the extensions that you have already installed on your computer. What you need to do is you want to go here where it says developer mode. OK. You want to make sure you toggle that okay once it's toggled it's all blue so i'm gonna go ahead and click load and pack and then we're gonna go to the download folder and then we're gonna go ahead and find the social stream ninja folder that we just downloaded that it's already unzipped so you want to make sure you click to it and then hit select folder the first time it's gonna show this error message this is going to happen. Don't freak out. You can actually hit cancel and then go ahead and hit again, load and pack, and then make sure you choose again, the same folder that we downloaded and then hit select. And as you can see now it has been installed. No problem. Okay. So now, as you can see, it shows here social stream ninja, and it's going to give you the version again, Steve, the developer of this plugin, he keeps actually adding updates. So at some point you may have to update it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go here to the extension icon again, and then we're going to look for it. And then once we find it, it's right here, social stream ninja. What we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and pin it just like that. And then once we have a pin, it's going to be a pinned here and what we need to do we need to enable it so i'm gonna go ahead and click to it as you can see it's actually red so that means it's actually disabled so we're gonna go ahead and disable it just toggle this little thing here and as you can see now it's actually toggled and we are good to go so this means actually enabled okay so the next thing we need to actually take a look at we have two main links that you need to pay attention to the first link is the streaming chat are uh, called dockable so basically if you want to have a dock on your screen scrolling showing all the chat on the messages coming in you can use this link right here however for us for most of us what we need we're gonna be using this featured chat overlay link which is basically the ability to be able to choose you know any kind of message coming in so like you just choose a message and highlight it's gonna show on screen so i'm gonna show you how to use both links and how personally i like to use them and of course you can go ahead and play with this extension it has 
has so many cool things i will just let you go through everything you can change colors the style it has so many effects but for us for the purpose of this video we're gonna keep you basic and i'm gonna show you what i promise you to show you all right so the next thing we need to do we need to set up the extension in obs so that everything we do in obs is actually going to show up so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a doc so the reason why we need to have a doc is because we want to see the messages back in obs from basically from your live stream when people send messages you want to be able to see them in obs without having to go actually to your actual stream so we need to go ahead and go to this streaming chat uh, dockable link and what we need to do is we just need to highlight and just copy it and then we're gonna go to obs so basically we want to create a new doc okay so i'm gonna go here where it says docs and as you can see i already had one but i'm gonna go here where it says custom browser doc and as you can see i already have one called chat ninja now i can go ahead and actually delete it and i'm gonna create a new one so i'm gonna go here just type in just name it whatever you want so we're under doc name so i can call it ninja chat that's how i like to call it because you can call it chat and then the url this is gonna be the link that we just brought from the extension so i'm gonna go ahead and actually paste and then hit apply and as soon as you hit apply you can see that you're gonna have a doc available for you so now you can actually go ahead and put it anywhere in your obs wherever you have a, a spot available so for me i believe i can have a spot maybe somewhere here and you can go ahead again i already did apply you can go ahead and actually close this so now as you can see we have a doc called ninja chat and this is where our messages are going to show up when we actually go live okay the next thing we need to do is we need to set up a way to when we highlight the message is gonna show up in obs now once we're done i'm gonna show you we're gonna test everything so you guys can see how actually messages are going to come in so we're gonna go back to our extension and we're gonna go we scroll down where to where it says featured chat overlay so we need to go here and copy this link just hit copy and we're gonna go to obs again and we're gonna go to the scene where we want this to appear Okay, so I'm gonna go here to this scene, my main camera scene. This is the scene that I like to show my chat because that's where, you know, people, I'm just talking to my audience and then I can answer their questions. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit the plus sign under sources and we're gonna be adding what's called a browser source. So I'm gonna go here for under browser, hit browser. And for this one, I'm gonna call it chat. And then, and then I'm gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna go here where it says URL. I'm gonna go ahead and delete whatever is there and i'm gonna paste in what we just got from the extension and then for the width i always like to make it 1920 okay and the height i always like to make it around 300 this is really optional you can make 300 400 and this is something you can actually readjust afterwards okay everything else you leave the way it is and just hit okay and as you can see it's going to show up here on the top and then what we need to do we can actually lower it a little bit put it somewhere here so basically this is where you want your messages to show up you can also make it a little smaller that's why all the dimensions that i just put in were just like kind of optional because again, depending on the framing, because right now I have an overlay and I want to make sure the messages actually are going to show up within inside the overlay. Okay. If I didn't have an overlay, I can actually make it like kind of like full frame kind of thing, like to occupy the entire frame, something like this. And I could actually put it down a little bit down like this. All right. So you're going to go ahead and actually play with it depending on your setup and make sure it looks good. So for now, we can actually leave it here. Again, this is going to make sense in a moment once we start bringing in chats. Or messages now so now that we have everything set up in obs the next step we're gonna go ahead and actually go to youtube because i'm not gonna go live i'm just gonna show you have uh, this guy who plays a good piano on youtube i like to actually listen to his music so we're gonna pretend this was live on youtube so what you do usually you go schedule your stream before you go live you can do that or as soon as you start sending in messages you have a chat available so you can maybe run your countdown timer or something or your intro 
and then as soon as you have the chat available okay what you need to do is you're gonna go to your live stream and then go where the chat is and then go to three dots here you want to make sure you click to those three dots and then go here where it says pop out chat so you want to make sure you pop out chat if you have multiple monitors you can actually go ahead and use maybe the chat put on a different monitor or you can even keep it on your main monitor it doesn't matter all right so what we need to do now i'm gonna go ahead and actually send some messages just say hello thanks for your music i say god bless you so once you start sending in messages basically again assuming this was you you got we're gonna go back to obs right here and as you can see all the messages that i just sent are actually here in obs now once they show up in obs as you can see they are not showing on screen so people are watching live they can't really see the messages but you who's actually watching i mean you controlling your actual live stream you're gonna be able to see those messages and all you gotta do you can go ahead and click to any message that you want to show just click to it and as you can see the message is actually going to show up on screen so people watching live they say if it was someone who asked a question you're gonna be able to highlight that question or an interesting comment highlight put on screen as you can see i can click to any message and it's gonna show up here no problem it's gonna show the profile picture of the person sending the message or the sending the chat and then it's gonna show the name and of course it's gonna show the actual message or the actual question which is awesome now you can also as you can see you have a some sort of menu here you can have it be like put it on auto so every time people sending in chat is gonna show up on screen you're not gonna have to highlight it do it manually it's gonna keep showing up also another way if you maybe that's too much you can actually turn it off however let's say if you show a message on screen you can actually whenever you're done you can just click on it again and it's gonna disappear another thing is all the messages you actually have clicked on or you have showed on screen as you can see they're going to be kind of highlighted so that you know which ones you haven't shown or if it you know people are sending in questions you know which questions you have featured or you have answered so that you actually know how to follow up once the message is on screen you can also like to take it off you can just click on it again and it's going to disappear so again you can do exactly the same thing you can go ahead and actually if i go to chat here if i want to show it to a different scene let's say i have a different scene here where maybe i have guest on let's say i have a guest on here and i want to be able to show the same messages or to highlight the same messages here i can go ahead and actually copy the same source and then paste it here on this scene and it's gonna be able to show up so i can copy paste really on any scene now if you don't know how to set up all the scenes as you can see i have multiple scenes here some with guests i have some overlays as well if you don't know how to set up these kind of things i have another video that i made showing you step by step how to set up a full obs show including bringing in guests setting up overlays setting up even the chat what we just did and be able to go live either on youtube or facebook or any other platform but that video really is gonna be everything that you need actually to set up a full obs show so if you want to check out that video it's gonna be linked right here also if you want to know all the overlays that i'm actually using in here you want to make sure you check out streamtools.com because that's where i get the overlays link down below in the description and i will see you there guys take care